this is Nick with Logos by Nick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can wrap your text around a circle or any object you'd like using Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to create a new document sized at 1280 by 1280 pixels and the, th the first thing I want to do is create the object that I want to wrap the text around. In my example I'll be using a circle so I'm going to hold a click over the square here until I get this flyout menu and I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. And I'm going, to hold, I'm going to click and drag and then hold shift and alt on the canvas so we get a nice perfectly round circle that creates from the inside out like that. And then I want to center this up on the page. So I'm going to go over here to where it says window and make sure you have the align uh, window open. And with the align window open over here, I'm going to set the align to, I'm going to set that to artboard. And I'm going to center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that so it is perfectly lined up on the page. And what I want to do now is hold a click on the text tool up here until we get our flyout menu. And I want to choose type on a path tool. Click on that and then click on the path right here. And it's going to put some default text around that path there. You may not be able to see it because it's really, really tiny by default on my, on my setup. But there is some really tiny fonts there. So what I'm going to do is click on this drop down up here. And I'm going to choose the font I want to work with. For this example, I'm going to be working with Lee Gothic, which is the example I used in the thumbnail for the video. And I want to hold up the size up here until the text gets to about a size that I, that I think is suitable. Right about there looks good. And now I'm going to write my text. I'm going to write wrap your text for the first half. And I'm actually going to triple click that and make that a little bit bigger. Not quite big enough. And then I want to go to type. And where it says type on a path, I'm going to choose uh, type on a path options and I want to click on the preview menu right here and where it says align to path I want to choose center because I want the text going through the center of the path right here like that and then I'll go ahead and click OK and what I want to do now is I want to put a little bit put a little bit of spacing between those letters because they're a little too close together so I'm going to hold alt on the keyboard and click right on the arrow key a couple of times until it has a nice spaced out uh, a, a nice spacing like that and what I want to do now is just adjust the position of where the text is on this circle. So I'm going to come over here and click on the uh, direct selection tool. And you're going to notice this little line right here. I'm just going to click and drag that line and rotate the text around until it's right about where I want it, which is right about there. You could play with it a little bit if you'd like and get it, get it to look precise. I'm just going to leave it there, just uh, you know, a rudimentary placement for this tutorial. And I'm, what I want to do now is create some text going along the bottom here. So I'm going to grab the select tool. And I'm going to click and drag this text and then hold Alt so it creates a copy of it and puts it over here. And then I'm going to go back to the text tool, triple click on the text right here to highlight it, and I'm going to write the bottom half of the text which will be around a circle. And what I want to do now is get this text going around the bottom of the circle like that. So to do that I'm going to go back up here to where it says type and go to type on a path. And I'm going to choose type on a path options. We're going to toggle the preview on and we are going to flip this. So that is now going along the inside of the circle rather than the outside. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I just want to align this on the artboard as well. Let me go back to the, uh, let me go back to the selection tool and now I can align this on the artboard. And let me go back to the direct select tool over here and then just take this line and just rotate this around until we have a nice placement on the bottom here. And you may have to play around with this a little bit. Right about there looks pretty good. And if you want to go back and change the size, you can do that by going back to the text tool and you can triple click on the text and give it a different size if you want to or, di or a different font or whatever else you'd like to do. But I like how that looks right there. I'm going to leave that just as it is. And right there we're pretty much finished. Just one more step I want to go over in case you'd like to finalize this text as it is. What you can do is you can click on the object and go to type and then choose create outlines. And that is no longer a text object. Those are now vector paths. And you can do the same thing up here. Click on that, go to type, create outlines, and there you go. Now you have your text wrapping around a circle. And what you can do now is go ahead and create another circle. Let me flip that around, center it up on the canvas like that. Oops, didn't need to do that. Bring that down a little bit like that. And I will give this a bit of a bigger stroke. And there you go. That is how you can go about wrapping your text around a circle or any object you'd like using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.